Well, we've given our system a good 20, 30 minutes to cool down. And we now have a look how much product we've got on the first take. And in the flask here, you might be able to see there's about half a mil of product, but there's a considerable volume of liquid um, condensed on the flask over here. Now, there's a dilemma. Do we heat this up further with a Bunsen burner and drive over more product, or we de do we take the material that's naturally condensed here with a few drops falling down there? So I think in this instance, we'll take the product that's come over on the first take, and we'll test that to see for the presence of an aldehyde. Let's leave that in ice, um, because we're expecting a very volatile material. So we'll leave that surrounded by the ice beaker to start off with. And we're going to conduct a Tollens silver mirror test. And in order to do that, we need to prepare our Tollens reagent. This will, of course, be carried out in a test tube, on a test tube scale. And the first thing we need is about a mil or one centimeter cubed of 0.05 molar silver nitrate. Well, one to two mils should suffice. Uh, and we're going to add to that a drop of 0.4 molar sodium hydroxide to produce the silver hydroxide precipitate, one or two drops there. And finally, we dissolve that precipitate in two molar aqueous ammonia or add ammonia until it just dissolves. That's not an instantaneous process and we do need to shake rather vigorously. It's dissolving now. You can see it's Mostly gone. Just a drop or two more of ammonia should do it. And uh, they're almost all just about gone. So into that, let's just uh, leave that in a beaker here at the bottom for a second. Into that we're going to introduce our product. We've got very much, so we might end up using all of it today. So, there's the product in the bottom, look, you see that, and we'll take a pipette, we've got about 0 0.4, 0 0.5 mil there, we'll add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 drops of that, about half of the amount that we've got, put the rest back into ice, and stop of that flask and now we need to surround our tube with hot water. We've got a kettle here and what I've found is that the ethanol product is so volatile that it's best to only half immerse the tube in hot water like so. Now I've got another camera at the bottom so we'll monitor that down here 